Demonstrating the left echelon roll. This is a particularly difficult maneuver, especially for Lieutenant Commander Pat Walsh in Blue Angel number four. as they slide from left echelon to a trail position and back into the traditional Blue Angel Diamond. To the left, Lieutenant Commander Anderson and Lieutenant Molnar have established a mirror image formation. But look carefully for both aircraft. They're in the carrier landing configuration as they approach for a maneuver we call the Fortis. However, you should notice one significant modification. While Blue Angels 2, 3, and 4 still maintain that minimum wingtip to canopy separation, the flight leader is upside down. The Blue Angel single far vault. Behind the spectator area, Blue Angels 5 and 6 are approaching in a line of breast formation at 400 miles per hour. Approaching center point, they will perform a maneuver to demonstrate the turn radius of these F-18. The opposing minimum radius turn. Let's watch as both pilots now sustain six times a pull of gravity required to cross their aircraft directly over center point. degree bearing line establishing a right echelon formation from the right at 350 miles per hour the blue angel echelon parade center point they will roll their aircraft 270 degrees and cross over center point with minimum separation ladies and gentlemen the tuck away cross left the four diamond pilots are still maintaining that right echelon formation approaching center point commander rude will commence a climb and a 360 degree rolling maneuver after 270 degrees of roll they will smoothly shift the formation back into the traditional blue angel diamond this is the changeover roll a precise transition from echelon against the beautiful california sky over roll complete to the right. Let's watch as they climb into the vertical to set up for their next maneuver, the line abreast loop. <laughs> Approaching center point, they will climb straight up into the vertical, experiencing heavy G as the airspeed dissipates. Still maintaining minimum separation, the pilots must now align themselves by looking 90 degrees from their flight path toward Commander Rude's aircraft.
the top at 7,000 feet. The power is eased as the aircraft round out the backside of this five-plane line abreast loop. Another formation change prior to detaching Blue Angel number five. In order to demonstrate the tactical roll rate of these McDonnell Douglas FA-18 Hornets approaching center point, Lieutenant Commander Anderson will perform a series of maximum stick deflection horizontal rolls. before us. Approaching center point, he will climb the formation straight up into the vertical. Reaching 90 degrees nose up, the diamond will split all four aircraft exiting in separate directions. Ladies and gentlemen, the Blue Angel vertical break. center point they will roll their aircraft 360 degrees pausing after each 90 degrees of roll and passing over center point in the inverted position from the left and right the opposing four point hesitation roll and left echelon. Each pilot will roll his aircraft 270 degrees in ripple fashion, take separation, and rejoin Commander Rood in the diamond formation. center point. They will roll their aircraft 270 degrees in section. Ladies and gentlemen, the double tuck over roll. Now, let's watch as Commander Rude calls, ready break. is now called for our two solo pilots to join the diamond for the delta aerobatic portion of our flight demonstration from the right at 400 miles per hour the delta roll all five wingmen maintaining position on the leader as they roll 360 degrees over center point As they commence the reversal turn, our two solo pilots will change the formation and now maintain their position on the wings of Lieutenant Commander Walsh in the slot. This ship produces a formation we call the Double V. Very shortly, all six aircraft will be approaching for the Blue Angel Fleur de Lee. From the left at 450 miles per hour, the Blue Angel Fleur de Lee.
the rendezvous complete. The diamond will pass before us. And exit the flight line to the right. Closely as Commander Rude calls, smoke on, ready break. Ladies and gentlemen, the United States Navy Flight Demonstration Squadron represents a time-honored tradition of pride, professionalism, and excellence. Spanning 76 years of naval aviation, the team takes a great deal of pride in saluting Navy and Marine pilots, maintenance crews, and support personnel everywhere. On this 4th of July, the Blue Angels are very proud to dedicate our flight demonstration to the men who gave their lives for their country. From the right, in salute to the prisoners of war and those missing in action, the Blue Angels. <laughs> 